Hi there. In this screencast, we'll display all the data from our customer database in a new document. So I'm going to create a new file. I'll call it uh, something like customer data .php and create. And I'll edit it. And again, I'm just going to paste the code I have. Again, I'll share this code with you. And I just need to change this stuff up here. So I can display the ID of the customer. I want just the name. I'll capitalize the M. And this is in a table. And then instead of that last name there, I'll just put email. Now all of this stuff here builds the table. Um, so basically, the what does the heavy lift, lifting here is that right there, and this stuff here. So again, I can't really explain this in this course, um, but it's something you can look up and take a look at uh, how it actually works, if you like. But basically, this builds an HTML table. All of this stuff here. And we'll add our actual information. Again, I'm just going to asterisk out password till the end. And I'll put my actual information in here. And then I just need to change the information I'm selecting. So I'm going to get ID, I'm going to get name, and I'm going to get email. And instead of from the table called My Guests, we have a table called Customers, right? And I believe that should do it. Nothing else needs to change. So this is specific to our database the data that we have. So I'm going to choose save. Um, I'm just going to pause my camera for a second, add my actual email address, save, and then navigate to customerdata.php on my website. So now I'll go to my website here and put in customerdata.php. And hopefully it works. Beautiful. So you see, I entered myself twice there. I deleted the first record when I was testing everything out before I created the screencast for you all to look at. Um, this table was created with that little section that I showed you there. So if you want to create tables, you can just copy and paste that stuff verbatim. And then it got all the data out of the database. So, um, so basically in these five videos that I showed you it's basically the basis for something like WordPress so you can get any manner of data we're just getting a couple of pieces of text um, but you're not limited to that of course you can get any data you like and then you can display it in any form that you like I'm not uh, bothering too much with the actual presentation of the data um, as this is a programming course we're just concerned with actually the functionality but but in real life of course I would put this in a much nicer form um, so it was a, it's an attractive database, but this is basically the nuts and bolts in the back end of how a lot of different applications work, such as uh, eBay, Craigslist, um, Amazon.com, and then applications like uh, learning management systems, content management systems, all of that stuff like um, Drupal and WordPress and whatnot. So hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of how um, how folks go about creating this stuff and maybe some ideas how to create your own applications. Um, so uh, thanks so much for watching.